All right. Today, we are going to use promo codes we got in the mail. Ooh. Do you know how excited that makes me? <laughs> because normally they just go in the garbage. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Every time we make a joke in the beginning of a video, I feel like we need an intro. YouTube is very like predictable and it's like, quick joke, theme song, video. And Steven's <laughs> like, you think I have time to edit a theme song and an intro video? And oh my god. Uh, I barely had time to edit that truck in that no one laughed at. <laughs> Comment down below if you think trucks go meee. They don't. Hello! Today, we are going to be ordering from a meal prep service. Delivery home meals kit. Meal kit. Meal kit. Meal kit. A meal kit. <laughs> so we've seen these things around for a while. A lot of people use them. A lot of people we know use them, but we've never tried them. So we thought, now's a good time. I think that a lot of reason why I don't ever want to do it is because there's so many of them. I don't know which one that I should try. It's overwhelming. We've always been worried that if we order the box of food and it comes and then our week is too busy and we're not home and we're not cooking, then the food just goes away and we've wasted our money. However, we're always home now, so a good time as any. I think the popularity of these things is actually probably skyrocketed during COVID. Oh, I I'm sure. imagine People don't want to go to the grocery store. Delivery services of groceries are impossible to get. Right. So we got two in the mail, same day. Competition. <laughs> yeah. We do want to try them both, but I think that today we're just going to do one. If you want more, like and subscribe, and maybe we'll do a series about it. This one is the one we're going to go for today. So we're doing Chef's Plate. It comes with its own credit card, which probably is just a big waste of plastic. We're not sponsored at at all we wouldn't be but this is just us trying it it'll be an unboxing and unbiased review we'll have three kind of tests we're gonna do one night where we have Chris the one who cooks <laughs> coming home from work and these are supposed to be quick and easy and ready then we're gonna try one where we have lots of time it's gonna be great the last one will be me the one who can't cook trying to cook this recipe by himself to prepare for Chris I just noticed something on the back. It says, redeem this code to receive $40 off when you order your first and second boxes and an additional $20 off your third. So it's $100 off if you order this for three weeks. What is this? YouTube's clickbait? Come on. Clickbait. Let's at least get $40 off of our first box where Good Food only gave us $35. We're going to go online and look at this. We haven't done this yet. We've just been talking about it. We haven't actually um, been looking at it. That is Stitch's crown. As a fellow supporter of wearing crowns, I'm very upset about your attack on my person. They have some promises here. Cook savvy. Cook easy. easy cook fast. fast. Cook for, for less. less. We should use those. Just These are all that, things. Okay? Those are going to be the four categories when you're cooking. I want you to tell me if it if it checks those boxes. How easy is it? Easy? Is it? Was it quick? Was it quick? Was it impressive? Well, that'd be savvy. Would be like, is it impressive? Can I Instagram this? And then for less, would be like, price check that and see if we could have made that for cheaper than getting this delivery, even with the discount code or without the discount code. And would we use it again? <laughs> After their little promises here, they say meal planning made easy. Step by step recipes, fresh produce, ice packs keep everything fresh until you get home. That is something I wondered about because if you work all day and come home at midnight and your food was delivered at 2 p.m., mm -hmm. get started. Oh, we get to do a quiz. Mm, oh, no. It's a quiz. It's not a it's quiz. It's a quiz. It's, I think it's one question. Select meal type. <laughs> meat and vegetables, yeah. vegetarian or family friendly. Meat and vegetables, meat. Yeah, I, when you choose family friendly, is that just like- Mac and cheese. And burgers? Like, <laughs> my kid only eats hot dogs. Can I just get hot dogs? Yeah. The number of people, two. Meals per week, three. We've decided yeah. that already. Okay, it's $9.99 per serving. That means that each meal would be about $20. If it's two servings, I don't know if there's leftovers, probably not. $59.94 for the week. Do you have a promo code? Well, we do, thank you, Mailbox. We got $40 off of $59, so it's costing us $19.94 to do this. And that's we for three meals. We should keep the original price in mind, though, because if you use this going forward, after their promo runs out, you are paying $10 a meal. From a base perspective, I would say that that 50 whatever price, depending on the size of the meal, sounds okay three decently impressive, not boring meals. We're gonna hit select this plan and hopefully it will let us choose our meals. Stanley, quiet on set. If I pick Sunday, is it today or is it next yeah. Sunday? Oh, oh, we can't get this for a week. Even if we're busy the week that this comes delivered, it should be fine and I think that's even a better test of if it's easy and all of those things. Worst case, this is the end of this video, will just be a box of food rotting outside <laughs> in slow motion with like 
black and white. Over. This video will be five minutes long. We'll have this big intro, and then we'll just be rotten wah, food for wah, a minute. Wah, wah. You're also essentially buying like a page from a cookbook every time you do this. If it turns out that going grocery shopping is cheaper than this, we sell the recipes. At $8.99 per serving, you save big money on the groceries. It said $9.99 per serving on the last screen, and then it discounted it to $3.99 per serving, and now for some reason it's saying $8.99 per serving. There is a premium. So maybe $9.99 is the premium. So they're discounting it technically Anyways. off of the highest priced item. Maybe. And select meals. Ready? Why do we hate all the meal selections after we already paid for it? Japanese, Japanese umami, umami burger. burger with roasted sweet potato and spicy mayo. Oh, so they've pre-selected three meals for us already. We'll just take the batteries out of the fire alarm again, like the last cooking video. <laughs> Our apartment's not well ventilated. The second one that they've pre-selected for us is honey garlic chicken and rice with sriracha aioli. That one says it's a 15 minute recipe, but it's plus 296 per serving. Uh -huh. So it's like a quicker recipe, but they charge you more? They all sound good. They are pretty simple recipes. And then there's some we can choose from. It seems that all of the ones that say 15 minutes cost you more and I wonder if they come with like prepared foods. Maybe the hash that it sits on is already done and you just heat it. Maybe. You know. Baked halloumi shawarma bowl, that sounds good. But this is one of the 15 minute meals that cost a little more. Oh and they show you the recipe. So why does it cost more money? I guess we'll find out. Well, they almost almost all of them have rice. This one appeals to me. Spicy pork bibimbap bibimbap. Sure. Sticky rice. So that's at least more exciting than the same rice again. Okay, so right now we have Japanese umami burgers, spicy pork bibimbap, we have baked halloumi shawarma bowl. One costs extra. One costs an extra $2.96 per serving, so our total has gone from $19.56 to $25.86. How much do you agree with this statement? The menu offered this week satisfies my needs. I'm gonna say like, I'm gonna say medium. I'm gonna say the options were, and I'm gonna say <laughs> too much rice. You're all set. Your meals have been successfully selected for your first delivery. Your first Chef Plates box will arrive on Monday the 21st of September. Let's see. September 28th has different menu items, probably? Ooh, eggplant parmesan sandwiches. Halloumi I mentioned... poutine? We chose a bad week. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we will see you next Monday in our world. Your world is probably a few Mondays away from we are even now. And we'll see you in three seconds. And here is our lovely box. Oh my god, it's heavy. So this should be three meals, and it should be still good. Unboxing in three, two, one. Oh, and inside is more cardboard. Ooh, cardboard. Okay, so right off the bat, we've got large format printed recipes. These are reusable. Like, we can keep these recipes and cook them even if we don't get the box. And we will. And then next up, three little, like, lunch bags. <laughs> so one says baked halloumi shawarma bowl, one says Japanese umami burgers, and one says spicy pork bibimbap, which we still didn't look up to see how to pronounce that, so I am still sorry. It is cold in the box if you feel the packages. Oh yeah, three degrees. Amazing. Oh. It's not a myth, they do keep your food cold enough. When was this delivered? I texted you when I first got to work, which was like 11 a.m. And it's yeah. now 7 p.m., so eight hours later. So that's pretty cool. Let's pull these out and get this big box out of the way. Sweet, we got an ice pack out of this. On the bottom here, they packed Canadian beef, Canadian raised pork, uh -oh. pork. and then the halloumi. Ooh, halloumi. Halloumi. Hello me and welcome to a new video. And last but not least, I think another giant block of ice made in Canada. The ice or the bag? Both. Okay, so let's just dispose of this. And by dispose of it, I mean hand it off to Stanley who will love it. This is just a recreation of what Stanley just did. Box. We're gonna start with the Japanese Uwami burgers because ever since we ordered this box, we've been like, we want to eat that so bad. So let's put these in the fridge, I guess. Yeah. We don't have room for these in our fridge. That was the whole reason why I left them out all day, but oh well. <laughs> Can we just leave them in the box all week and see what happens? No, no. that um, sounds terrible. Okay, let's go. We just got Mario All-Stars and I'm so excited. I still have not played Galaxy and I am so pumped for that one. Rosalina is my bae. If I wasn't a, a queer, game. queer. Rosalina Weird is my bae if I was not a gay. Oh, that was good. What a good rhyme. I'm opening this. Yeah. I love gifts. It's not even my birthday yet. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's cool. I mean, it looks just like a bag from like a farmer's market. Some bok choy. I wouldn't have chosen this one at the supermarket, but it is still okay. I think I'm good. We got sweet potato. Ooh, a little bit of rice vinegar. A little baggie of mayonnaise. Green onion. Soy sauce. Carrots. 
brioche bun. This, I don't know what it is. Sesame seeds. But one thing that I am just thinking about here with these boxes, we have mayo and we have things. I wish there was a way to be like, oh, I have that. And then you like check it off on the box so you don't have to waste food. One tablespoon of rice vinegar. I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, like I don't know if any of this is recyclable. There is so many cardboard boxes in our apartment. Da da da. Due to order volume, you may receive an equivalent ingredient substitution for this recipe. I think we got everything they said we got. For sure, and unless garlic breadcrumbs spice blend is not, yeah. everything else looks correct. You know what this reminds me of is like airplane food. We need cooking oil, salt and pepper. Perfect, I got that. Bam, bam. Like I'm roll number, bam. No, it's bay. Oh. Bam, bam was the baby from the Flintstones. This is, this is something that I'm really gonna be judging these companies on and Chef's Plate's getting a zero for sustainability. Yeah. 100% we're using the food processor for this. This is an interesting dynamic too because Steven and I don't actually cook together very often. No. Generally I cook and Steven supervises. Instagrams the food. Do you wash your vegetables with soap? Comment down below if you wash your vegetables with soap or if you're normal. <laughs> now this is what I'm curious about. I've heard of people doing this, washing your meat. People wash their meat. Is that, is that a thing you do? Comment down below. And then I'm just gonna shave off. Why are you peeling them? Don't Show worry me. about it. No. Okay. okay. Not bad. I am not a trained professional, so please do not expect me to be cutting properly. And I'm the one waving around the knife. I'm sorry, but like that was pretty impressive. Those, those are beautiful. beautiful. Those are beautiful. Those are beautiful. I, I cut those the other ones. Look at those nails. Show up your nails while you're eating. On the baking sheet, add potatoes and a tablespoon of oil, season with salt and pepper, toss to coat. I would do that in a bowl. I like the idea of you just picking a fun topic to discuss, says my mother. And here we are cooking three meals. If you watch the video, comment. Like it, subscribe, <laughs> share it with your friends, do all those things because it really helps us out. Lots of fun with this. Wow. And I like being a performer and doing this for you. If there's anything you think we could do better, let me know. I want to know. I want to do better. I want to drink the no. olive oil. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the oven. Now for this part, we're going to be using a food processor. I'm gonna be using the food processor on the cat in a second if he doesn't shut up. It's about to get really loud in here, not yet. I'm just finishing slicing up all of the vegetables for the slaw. I guess we'll mix the burgers next. Beef, whites from green onions, garlic, bread crumb spice mix, soy sauce, one teaspoon of mayo, salt and pepper. Ooh, it smells good. I think you can mix spicy mayo. If you want it really spicy, just add it all on top. Yeah. Oh, there's some spice to it, but I wouldn't call it super spicy. Medium, Medium heat. Yeah. Form of the beef. These are the formative years for this beef. That's a ball. That's a patty. Ah, 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 ah. Do you like that sound? ASMR. I don't have enough money for one of those microphones. Frying the burgers. Nice. Oh, they smell really good. Steven's got a bun in the oven. Do the sesame seeds go in here? Yes. Mix vinegar and one teaspoon of oil. Season with salt and pepper. So far we've done that to everything. It looks good. It smells good. This is our first taste. How? Oh, it's good. Really flavorful. Really fresh, delicious. Can we burn the burgers a little bit? Oh, are you okay? Steven just got grease in his eye. It's not going well. I'm gonna have fun trying to do this by myself. Oh no. Ready? Yeah. Burger first burger. or? Sweet potato first. Okay, sweet potato. Sweet potato. We've tried this law. This law is good. All right, <laughs> burger. I don't know how to cheers this. Cheers. Thanks. Oh my God, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's very juicy on the inside. Like mm -hmm. We cook them really well. The mayo is good, the slaw is amazing. The, the bun's flavors good. are really good. The bun's good. really fresh. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go enjoy these. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say this one was a success. Pretty good start to this week, and we'll see how the other two bags are. Okay, so Chris is on his way home, and I am doing the 15-minute recipe. Hopefully, I can get this done by the time that he gets home. I'm gonna start a timer so that I can even time the time that it takes me to make it, and uh, ooh, we'll see how this goes. I don't know why the one who's bad at making food is the one doing this one, but uh, here we go. Okay, Google, set a timer for 15 minutes. Starting now. Ah! Okay, table's in the way. Bad start, bad start. There's already a thing that's different. <laughs> so they didn't have something. What? They're just giving me extra. Well, I've just wasted my time. Damn it. So just a reminder, this was more expensive. It looks like I actually got less food. Stanley, you're stressing me out. Maybe I'm stressing him out. That was 15 minutes. <laughs> ah! I know! Ah! Ow, 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 hot, hot, hot. You were just 
just exploded in my mouth. White wine vinegar. Oh, it's gross. There is less prep work in this for sure, but I wouldn't say that it's 15 minutes at all. Hey Siri, text Chris. What do you want to say? Ah! Exclamation point. Your message says hi. Ready to send it? Sure. <laughs> jar though. I mean it does look like I'm about to go pee in it from the doctors. Hi my love. Hey, are you filming? I forgot. Sorry. Hi. I would say that this is not a healthy amount of cheese. I mean I'm not complaining. Oh hello. I kinda got it done in time. Oh it looks so good. Okay I gotta wash my hands. Wash hands, wear a mask, good. This is the final product. Ooh, it looks good. So what are we eating? Hi, Internet. If I cut off five minutes from the timer because I've been standing here just it talking to Chris, so it took 30 minutes. Double the amount of time, and for the fact that we paid $5 extra for it because it was fast, I'm a little weird about it. I, myself, am going to do a toss around. I want everything. Clink. Mm. Very tasty. Mm. It tastes healthy. I think that the shawarma spice is a little bit on the, like, desserty side. Maybe it's just a lot. It's good. Next is gonna be hopefully Chris making food again. By the time that happens, I will Google how to pronounce the food we're cooking. It is Thursday, and I'm cooking the third meal of our chef's plate meal kit. Steven's gonna come home, see how I did. This is the recipe we're cooking. Spicy pork bim bibimbap. I was gonna Google how to pronounce that, and I still haven't. And Stanley's eating my mask. Stanley, Stanley, Stanley. No, we're going with bibimbap. And I apologize in advance. Let's just check in on Steven. Oh, he's gonna be home soon, and I'm not gonna be Okay. Peel and cut carrots into matchsticks. Wow. Good thing that I got this recipe and Steven didn't. No offense, Steven. Hope you're not trying to start a fire because these matchsticks are useless. Hello, beloved audience. Oh, yeah, Steven's home. What's this? Is this Unifier Day? Yes, this is our favorite stout ever. I love your haircut. Thanks. Oh, mine's good too, thanks. I did your haircut, so I'm not allowed to compliment myself. It's called self love. If you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you gonna start a fracking empire? <laughs> that was good. I don't know, I think you went fracking far. I like the idea that you're cooking interesting things and I like that it's like got dinner set up for you, but I would want leftovers and there's never leftovers. Can I show off that I was like, well, I'm gonna be in the kitchen anyway, so I'll just bake this giant slab of focaccia. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm excited. I don't even know how to try this. The thing that you just kind of eat everything together, delightful. It's not amazing. It's kind of bland. But... It's very fresh. I mean, maybe that's what they were going for. That might be. I, I don't mean, know we what. We also never had this before. Yeah, exactly. So I, could... I was expecting to be really like punched in the face by spice and flavor and didn't happen. So when we first bought this box, they gave us like a few promises on the first page and I remember making note of it because I thought, let's look back and see if we agree with them. It was cook savvy, easy, fast, and cook for less. We're gonna do a really quick rating system. Savvy, look, for savvy, I would say four. I think savvy was one of the ones that I was like very impressed with Chef's Plate for. I feel like they were cool recipes that you wouldn't necessarily do, which I think is interesting. Yeah. Was it easy? This one I would kind of put on a three. I would um, say three as well. Because I don't think it was necessarily easy, but I don't think they were hard. But I don't think they successfully did it with the one that we paid extra for, which kind of bugged me. I really was disappointed in the 15-minute mm -hmm. meal. I felt as though things were going to be more prepared for me, so that it was easy. I think that that's better. I kind of agree too, because I like cooking. Overall, easy. We both say three out of five. Were they quick to make? No. I would say two. I mean, that being said, like, it does take you a while to make some of these foods, so I mean, I would give it a two and a half, maybe. For less? Well, I think it was affordable. I mean, it was affordable because we got a discount on it and we paid very little. They say $9.99 per serving, two of us. That means that a meal has to cost me $20 with no leftovers. A lot of the times, I can buy ingredients for under $20 with leftovers for the next day. So I think if you actually do the math, it's not cheaper but you're paying for convenience so i mean i get why it costs more and gets to, you to try new things yeah for sure i'm gonna put it at a three of five we definitely paid less than we would have to make these meals but if we were paying full price i'm yeah. not 100 sure we would be so i'm gonna say three 
I would put it at a four. I like the idea and I think it's worth the money, especially with the discount. It's definitely premium. Though. It's cheaper than going out for dinner. Yeah. You're not gonna get a meal at a restaurant for $9.99. No. This was the only one that I thought was unsuccessful and I still like it. Um, the last category we kind of added in ourselves is would we do this again? I don't know. I think I would order a meal kit again. I don't know that I would order this one yet only because there are so many out there. Yeah, I think that Chef's Plate specifically, they were both very good meals, very good presentation. This one's good presentation even. And this is still not bad. So that was our Chef's Plate meal kit exploration week. Yeah, and I mean, because views don't matter, because we don't get them, we're probably gonna do more of these because we had lots of fun. Why not explore the world of food kits? We're gonna probably do good food next. It's the one we have a coupon for, yeah, so yeah. The other one that was in the mailbox. <laughs> if you've tried a subscription service, let us know. Comment in the comments. Yeah, let us and... know if there's one we should try. If there's like one that you think like, oh, this one was definitely worth it, definitely do this. All right, well, the Bye. battery is dying and I am hungry, so let's uh, finish this up and go have some dinner. Goodbye. Goodbye, y'all. And now Steven will do the dishes. <laughs> Why are you drinking the hot sauce? Ah, it's hot.